Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. All right, you guys, if you're new to my channel, please click the like, share, and subscribe button. Welcome back to everyone who's been coming here. Truly appreciate it. Hello, you guys in the chat. <laughs> this is a Virgo channel only, okay? So all love readings here for Virgo Sun, Moon Rising, or Venus. And as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take a fifth, leave the rest. And of course, if you want to get a personal reading, I do do them. There's a link in the description box below this video where you can just book your reading. And most of the time, you can get a same-day reading. Or you can book it and have it within an hour. So go over to that link and get yourself all set up for a reading. All right, you guys, let's take a look and see what the love messages are here for Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay, starting with the King of Swords and the Tower, the Fool, Page of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, and the Knight of Cups, the Empress, Ten of Wands and, oh, the Queen of Pentacles, okay. Let me just get my myself, you know what, what's on the bottom of the deck here? Let's take a look. Oh, okay, Three of Cups, joy, celebration, time to party, um, something to be happy about, okay, the overall reading. After a challenge or a struggle, I see you gaining some courage um, and being in a position of like ready to celebrate. You've been going through some struggles here, Virgo. Not exactly sure what kind of struggles, but a lot of obstacles you've been overcoming. Um, and with courage and faith, you are able to overcome them and really get into a good place where you're just happy, joyous, and free, spending time with sisters, friends, um, brothers, uh, I'm just seeing like a celebratory time here going on, possibly even dating. Okay, so let's take a look and see what are the love messages. Virgo, Virgo, happy birthday, Virgo. I think we're at the end here, so I think that's it for today's the 23rd, so I guess we're going into Libra. So I'm sure there's some cuspers here still. So happy birthday to the Virgo Libra Cuspers. All right, let's see what your love messages might be. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Okay. <clears throat> Codependency in itself is an addiction. Needing to seek validation and approval from others in order to feel as if you are or anyone is worthy okay free yourself time to take back control of your life some of you need to free yourself from some type of addictions that you might be feeling or experiencing or could be alcohol drugs sexual addiction codependency or addiction into relationships um, there are some people who do have they're like serial daters or they have to like they're addicted to being in relationships just have a hard time being on their own okay this could be you this could be somebody you're connecting with but you're being advised here now to free yourself from anything that you anything that could be hindering your progress whatever that might be some of you may be smoking um, some of you may not even be aware that there are things um, that you're suffering from okay like for some of you, you could have a sugar addiction and not even be aware of it. But you're not really aware of that until you stop eating sugar, right? And you feel the cleanse happening in your body. Let's see what else. Okay. And reconciliation. So someone from your past is returning to your life. For some of you, it's after you free yourself from some type of addictive situation or codependent situation then somebody comes in is how I feel okay or if it's um
wow, it just feels to me like if there's codependency in your relationships or if you are codependent or someone you were connecting with has been in a relationship is very unhealthy, okay, there's a healing energy. There's definitely this, I believe this is we're in Mercury retrograde or pre-shadow, and there is definitely somebody is coming back here. Somebody's making a return, okay? So when I say reconciliation, I'm not making that up. So I'm not trying to tell you, hey, you have to get back with your ex, okay? This could just be a friend, uh, someone that you haven't spoken to in quite some time. For others, you, uh, you or another person um, had to leave a job because of some type of addiction or something, and you reconcile with your job. You go back to work. Um, it could be toxic family relationships, whichever. There's a healing <clears throat> that I feel like is coming in here. And that healing brings healthy relationship. This relationship gets healthy. Okay. So let's take a look. King of Swords, the Tower, and the Fool. Okay. So some of, someone could be connecting with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. We have Scorpio and Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Okay, so whomever was in the past or whomever you might be currently connecting with, um, this person like gives you the truth, okay? They're all about the truth. They're all about cutting right through um, any clouds, okay? Very strategic in their words, their communication, and their um, thoughts. Uh, what they think is strategic thoughts, and then they speak it. Okay, this is not somebody who just blabs at the mouth for the sake of talking. This person is very precise in what they say. So they choose their words very carefully. And what they're saying here is going to have an effect perhaps on your ego <laughs> for some. But this is a necessary conversation that's coming in here. And I feel like this conversation is going to give you an opportunity to take some kind of a risk here, both of you, okay? This conversation, this thing that gets said by somebody here, it not only affects the ego, but it also... Um, this conversation that you and another person have, it also like breaks everything down so that things can be rebuilt again. We also have Aquarius energy, I have to say that. Now let's take a look at this King, I think I did say that. Let's take a look at this King of Swords. Here we go again, the Fool. Yep, this is exactly what's happening here. <clears throat> this could be somebody from your past or someone that you're t currently talking with. But this communication, this truth, I feel like this person wants you to free yourself from something so that you both can be together again. I don't even know. Let's take a look. What is this tower? Wow, the magician. I'm hearing uh, somebody saying to you, lay all your cards on the table. Tell me everything. This person wants to communicate, tell you everything, or they, wanna, they want you to tell them everything. Gemini energy here. This is crazy. Hold on. Let me get a clarifier for the fool. Okay. Somebody feels that you're not interested or you're noncommittal or that you've been living in kind of fantasy land, I heard, or not being realistic. I know this is harsh, but somebody feels that some decision maybe that you are unable to make, and this can go in both ways, but in terms of the relationship, I feel like this person Okay, I'm getting a couple, of, a couple of different messages here. Somebody here is unable to make a decision. There's too many options. 
or too many choices, but somebody here is unable to commit to a relationship or manifest something. And it has a lot to do with some addiction. Now that could be you or it could be your person, okay? But there is a very, very, very strong need to break down and wait to and to wake up and like cut ties to be able to have a new journey again. Okay, now either you've got your person telling you this or you're telling this to your person. But this feels like this person's energy, okay? I mean, that's who I'm looking at here, but I feel like it's kind of both of you. There may be some codependency in this connection that makes it very toxic. Some addictions, some issues. There could be jealousy. It could be anything. You guys know your story. You know what the, addiction, the addictions are. Once those are addressed and control gets taken back for the self, self-discipline, self-control, then I feel like is when there's a reconciliation. I feel like that's when things begin to come together again. It's just this desire for breaking things down because either somebody's just living too much in la-la land or fantasy land or can't make a decision and would rather just be irresponsible and not commit to something or not like see something through. I just want to get a couple more clarifying cards. One for the fool. Okay, look, Ten of Cups. So you might have somebody telling you, you need to break this addiction in order for us to come back into union or to um, be joyous, happy, and free together. Somebody wants to support you very much. What's the magician? Yeah. <clears throat> Ace of Wands, to have a new beginning. Potential new love start here. What is this addiction? I'm just going to, I need a clarifying card on this codependency card. It could just be somebody is too reliant on another person, on another person for validation or like, for some of you, you've got somebody here who wants you to take the focus off of them and out and for you to focus more on yourself and take care of yourself. What is this addiction? Ha! Huh. Look. Queen of Pentacles, male or female. This is your codependency, Virgo. Your addiction, your codependency, your whatever, whatever you have going on. Hmm. Six of Cups. Some of you are stuck in the past and or still reliving out childhood trauma. And that is why there is some type of an effect. There's an issue on this relationship. I feel like this person, whoever you're connecting with, is very supportive of you. Very. And they want so much. Somebody wants you to come back, I hear. They want to reconcile. There's two reconciliation cards. They want healing. And you want that too. But it, it feels to me like you've, you or this person or both of you are like, we can't move forward, free ourselves. When you have the, the two full cards, that's freedom. You guys are not able to move forward until these other issues are addressed, okay? I feel like you feel that way. You can't be together until these things are, are addressed or healed or uh, taken care of. And this person as well. For some of you Virgos, you cannot be with this person because they have stuff going on that they need to heal. Okay, so vice versa. You know, we all keep it real here. We're all human. Um, it's not all the Virgos are right and everyone else they're with is wrong. We all have our flaws and we all have things we have to take a look at sometimes. So, you know, it's okay. It's being human. So there's some type of communication, though, um, after all this occurs. after the, Because I feel like there is going to be some healing, definitely. But I'm seeing here with the Page of Wands like the, and the Knight of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, you've got someone here who truly loves you. And this person is smitten with you. They have a thing for you. They have like a crush, right? Okay, if it's romantic and it is a love reading. But this person is 
there's excitement building up here with them in them this person comes in um they want to make an offer to you they're like they see you they're not going to give up on you if you're having struggles and you're not going to give up on them while they have their struggles you guys may distance yourselves from each other go your temporarily go your separate ways to get in whatever healing needs to be done and just so you know after this reading i will do, do the singles just for those of you who aren't trying to reconcile but um there's uh, somebody's going to ask you either to marry them or come back in with that cup of love with that reconciliation to be together again let's get some clarity here some of you have to take a look at your relationship with your mother i just heard yep very positive energy leo energy there's a sun here virgo taurus capricorn okay very positive this person feels very positive look four of pentacles making this offer because they don't want to let you go they see long-term security they want to offer you long-term security in this relationship a little possessive energy here never get they this person has never given up and they never will give up on you so much support so supportive of you now for some of you this may not be your past person this could be you know a friend or it could be someone that you were connecting with and then things kind of went sour you know now show me this knight of cups here wow coming in with that love offer with the knight of swords to make some kind they want a lifestyle change with you they they want to change their lives that's for sure and once they get to that place and they're secure and stable in comes the love so it's very beautiful okay um definitely the knight of swords i'm just seeing like a postman or a mailman this person there's might be a letter or a gift or something coming to you um a present or something or this person's coming in like traveling traveling to you or you guys meeting halfway <clears throat> them with the love and you know you coming in with the truth as, as usual virgo <laughs> all right let's take a look so the empress is here there's definitely some kind of struggle or burden with a mother figure so some of you may need if your mother's whether your mother is still here or not need to take a look at your relationship with your mother what was that like how is that affecting your love relationships today it doesn't have to be male with a mother um, it could be female with a mother. It, it has the same effect. All right, let's take a look at the Empress. Some of you might have a pregnancy to deal with. Okay, yep, contemplating the mother, definitely. Some of you are questioning if you are able to go from the Queen of Pentacles to the Empress, or shall I say the King of Pentacles to the Emperor. Some of you are questioning your confidence and your ability. Because remember, the Empress and the Emperor represents all the kings represents all the queens so some of you it is a little bit of a burden you may feel like you have a lot of work to do to go to level up and that's okay your person also has that same struggle um, and actually that's just kind of a burden for everybody who's trying to make changes in their life right so a lot of contemplation also about how to make it easier or how to how to do how to get all of your ducks in a row and this person they see you struggling they see that it's difficult for you or that you are just trying to be better in your life and i still feel like this person supports you though in whatever you need to do king of pentacles here king and the queen total match okay where before um it was earth and air now it's earth and earth okay so this person meets you where you are like you're on the same page is how i feel okay definitely about security and safety and good financial <laughs> blessings <laughs> let me see here i feel like this person is just looking at you they they admire you virgo i feel like this person they admire 
how you just keep pushing through, how you keep pushing, regardless of your struggles or what you've been through in your life or how you keep managing to keep it all together and you keep it going, okay? This person watches you and they're just in awe. They, they admire what you do. Okay, look, ending with you with the tower. Boom, major change, breakthrough definite breakthrough this person watches that it's they're just in amazement how you are able to just stay steady and secure and keep moving despite tower moments that you have in your life okay they're just kind of in awe in a lot of ways because they have faith and confidence in you they just they just look at you and they say oh, i want to be like virgo virgo is a good influence on me <laughs> You know, you, you leave a mark, Virgo. You leave a mark with this person. And um, they have the utmost confidence in you that you can overcome whatever challenges you're dealing with. You have that for them as well, okay? You believe in this person. You both believe in each other. Let's take a look and see what the love messages are here. I can never pick up my cards. All right, let's take a look and see what this person's love messages are for Virgo. All okay, trust. It's, it is safe to trust in this situation. Okay, beautiful. That's actually your advice here. Retreat, time alone. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge, okay? Some of you just need a little time out. You need to park the car, plug it into the Tesla charger, and just get re-energized so that you guys can move forward. Maybe both of you need to do this. Maybe you're currently doing this at this time. I do see reconciliation coming, though. So, I mean, that's it showed up twice. Okay, this person's, my life is not as together as it seems, okay? And I think that you're aware of that with them, but they say that it was their fault, but they blamed you, okay? A lot of healing happening here. This person wants to tell you how they feel, and that's why they're coming in with that Knight of Cups. That you both will be together again. This is not over, Virgo, with this person. Okay, the energy is still showing that it's still going on. If you want it to be over, then you just say no. It's as simple as that. This person wonders if you are happy without them. They have a lot of like deep insecurities. They know they crossed the line with you. They feel you leaving them behind, but I don't feel like they're playing the victim card here because they support whatever changes you're going through. Let's see what else your messages are. Forgiveness. Virgo, forgiving yourself or another will help you both move forward. Okay. If you want to move forward, you're going to need that. All right. Abundance. Here you go, Virgo. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. Oh, yes, Virgo. Trust me when I tell you. When you put the work in, I'm not kidding and you're in a state of grace and your, grat your gratitude list is, gets longer and longer, stuff starts happening for you. You know, and this person looks at you and they're like, how do you keep coming, coming up smelling like roses with all your struggles? And Virgo's like, because I just stay great. I just stay in gratitude. I, you, every morning, Virgo, you wake up, you're like, man, thank you for my blankets. You know, thank you for food. Thank you that I have a hot shower. Like the simple things, the simple, simple things. When you're just constantly giving out that gratitude, more and more comes to you. Release, radical acceptance and surrender can help you let go. And I feel like a lot of you are just letting go of some past stuff and detaching with love to clearly see the truth. Very beautiful. Something about this relationship. A little bit of time apart just kind of clears the air, clears the dust, the dust settles, all right? And then it, there's like, okay, things begin to get, there's clarity comes, and then you're both able to see, okay, we got this 
dynamic happening in this relationship or we've had this dynamic for a while and we need to do something about this we need to forgive or we need to find a way to bring each to reconcile in a healthier place we need to break it down break down what was in the past because it doesn't work anymore that is not working ego you know this is the crown chakra when this hits when lightning strikes it's like a wake-up call All right, Virgo, let's see what your advice is. Virgo's advice. Virgo, Virgo. Hi, everybody. Virgo's advice. Okay. Wow. The Ace of Swords. Brilliant ideas that may need refinement, clarity, overcoming obstacles with faith that everything will work out, communicating clearly and concisely and remaining objective. Beautiful. The Ace of Swords is, that's the crown victory. Okay, but whatever you are trying to accomplish in your life at this time, you will win. You will win. The Ace of Swords is a win-win. You can't lose. Okay. Four of Earth. Managing your resources wisely. That's good advice. <laughs> Look at this woman. Some of you are out buying some like really nice jewelry, paying for a ring. Are you picking one out? <laughs> for the females, right? Or the males. Um, extremes you may experience extremes in how you give or receive money time or emotions make sure you're making smart business decisions right now you may be seeing things as black or white it may help to see the gray areas and you may be in a place or thinking about becoming more charitable, working with charities, being more hospitable. Rather than um, serving your lover, serve those in need, right? Children, I feel. Serve your children, or little children. <laughs> Let's see what else, if you have children, or like, you know, I don't know, children who, like charities for children, I hear. That's, Virgo is such a service-oriented sign. That would be so good for you. Okay, so you have Four of Cups. Four of Cups, okay. Stay out of a position of sadness. There are opportunities magical surprises coming to you virgo stay open to them because they're coming do not miss the point of things stay open to an opportunity there's an opportunity coming your way whether in love career wherever other areas of your life Try not to be depressed or stay in bed too long. Get out there and live your life, Virgo. Okay? Do not be distracted by daily things in your life. Be open-minded. Try not to be discontent and definitely do not stay bored. Get active. Stay busy. Don't be lost in your own world. You need to wake up. Okay? For those of you who are maybe, I don't want to say depressed because in cl clinical terms I understand that just waking up is not the answer um, if you're able to great but there's something here about yeah, like it's a wake-up call that's what I said don't miss this this tower moment is a blessing okay so whatever struggles that you're having right now that are difficult they're blessings remember that because it's going to lead because once this tower breaks down and this kind of reminds me of the world trade center 
right? It was horrible. It was so horrible. And looking at this card triggers me in a lot of ways. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you looking at this card will understand what I'm talking about. But what was left was a memory, but they rebuilt again. Even more beautiful. So try to understand that, you know, whatever struggles that you have going on at this time, Virgo, these are blessings that are happening to you. Sometimes we have to go through these things in order to come out. This is the thunderstorm prior to the calm and the, the parting skies and the beautiful sun coming out, okay? I don't know. I just felt like that was a message I needed to give you. All right, let's get your charms. Interestingly enough, I saw a butterfly earlier today. So here you go. Transformation. Okay? Big transformation happening in your life right now. Go with it. Okay? Let things um, unfold naturally. Okay? Just go with the flow with these changes. You're going to come out the other side. And we also have, you know, it's so weird. Look at this. Hold on. So things are slipping and sliding, but I have to show you. We have a dress, but look, it kind of looks like what she's wearing, and it landed right on there. Buy herself something nice, Virgo, male or female. Some new threads. <laughs> Buy, splurge a little bit on yourself. And I'm not, I don't mean like on anybody else or something that you need. Like, give yourself a gift. Don't be in this position where you feel like you don't deserve anything nice, even love, okay? Give yourself the gift of love, but really value yourself, your self-worth, address. This has something to do with them. Um, for some of you, maybe you need to buy a nice, a nice gown or a nice dress for something you have coming up. If you're a male, you know, something nice to wear. Some of you might actually be clothing designers you may be thinking about starting a business or you're out shopping for pieces if you have like a consignment shop or you're looking in a consignment shop for special um, items, clothing or jewelry or watches or something like that. I want to get one more and then I'm going to go into the singles. Oh, that's pretty. Hold on, I can have a look at this. This kind of looks like to me. All right, well, it is. It is two candy canes, candy canes. Okay, Christmas, something to do coming up. Maybe there's a gift, Christmas gift you might be receiving from somebody. Candy canes, peppermint, sweet. What does this mean when we have two canes crossing each other? This, for some of you, it's weird. I just, it looks like the ram for um, the zodiac sign of Aries. I know you probably can't see it, but it, to me, I don't know how to make it clear for you, <laughs> but to me, it looks like the ram. That's weird. I never, sometimes things just come out. There's something happening. I just heard that song. <laughs> Chris Cross, the Mac Daddy make you jump, jump. <laughs> jump, jump, Mac Daddy make you jump, jump. Chris Cross will make you jump, jump. Maybe somebody's name is Chris. I don't know. That's so weird. I haven't heard, I don't, the songs that, I swear I have like a database of like 80s and 90s and 70s and 2000s music in my head. Sometimes it just pops out of nowhere and that's definitely one for the books, that crisscross song. <laughs> I hope you all have that stuck in your head or you go listen to that. <laughs> all right, let's go to the singles. Let's see. The singles have any new love coming in for them. For those who are just 
All right, reconciliation past is coming back, but you don't want to be in that energy. Or it's just a friend. You say she's just a friend. You say he's just a friend. Okay, or a family member or something along those lines. And you guys are like, I don't have anybody from the past coming back. Show me new love. All right, let's take a look. Singles, new love. What's coming up here? Singles, new love. Go ahead and hit the like button, you guys. Let me know that you're here. If you guys, if anybody made a super chat, I just want to say in advance, thank you. Because I can't see it. I can't see the chat here while I'm doing this video. So if you say hello, hello back. <laughs> All right, singles. Okay. High Priestess. Wow, the star. What? The world of the wheel of fortune. Okay. Oh, King of Swords. King of Swords was just in that reading. Okay. You've got somebody here. Okay, definitely. Now for some, that could be your past person, like we just had. And if you don't want that back, then maybe you should just go. But for others, it could be, or that you same people, it could just be another air sign. Okay. Um, so again, the King of Swords, very strategic, a thinker. Good, a good communicator shoots straight from the hip, um, doesn't mess around, kind of cold, a bit guarded, but seems like a very passionate person. Um, very business-like, I feel like this person likes to travel, but this person struggles with commitment issues, okay, or has in the past. Um, let's get some clarifying cards. Now, the High Priestess is here. The quiet kind of a person, which is very strange for an air sign. Air signs are not usually quiet. If they're not blabbing at the mouth, they're doing something else to let you know that they're there. Um, but this person has... This is an Aquarius. Okay. It's an Aquarius coming in. Okay. Let's take a look. Why is this High Priestess here? Okay. We have Temperance. All right. This person generally stays quiet to maintain equilibrium and balance. Okay. This person's very wise. They have learned that if they talk too much, then, or if they say too much, then they're going to fall off, tip the scales too far in one direction. Okay. So they do communicate, but they're very, it feels like they purposely would rather observe. They purposely would rather observe first for a while before they say anything. And that's kind of the King of Swords. It's a very mature energy, very strategic. Now, I will say that um, this person moonlights at night as like a bartender or they work the night shift as a pharmacist. Okay. The star, that's all about medicine. Okay. Healing. So definitely, you know, some people, they go for the drink to heal. <laughs> and this person gives them the drink. You know, at the bar, they serve them or something. Um, I mean, alcohol is not, you know, everything in moderation. Okay. And that's what I feel like this, this temperance card is about, moderation. Okay. So if this person works as a bartender, they give drinks. They see someone's getting a little too left then they will stop giving them drinks right um if this person's working as like um uh, like a pharmacist obviously they have protocols and rules they have to follow but they're very conscientious and they check double check recheck and triple check the medicines that they are giving out to their customers okay they can even be a doctor so I don't know how we went from bartender to doctor, but very much could be, okay? But I feel mostly this person deals with liquids or some type of healing properties, okay? Um,
for some this person sells um, um, oils essential oils maybe or somewhere in that industry okay so the six of cups just popped out okay hmm could be a pediatrician for some of you this person could be a pediatrician um, They also have two children, a boy and a girl. Okay. Two children, a boy and a girl. Um, I feel like October, you're going to run into this person. Okay. Um, some of you might be in a casino where you'll see them somewhere in the world or on a boat, like a ship or a boat you'll meet this person okay for some of you this person is works with the police is either a police officer or in you know sergeant or whatever it could be military it could be a lawyer as well you could meet them they could be your lawyer representing you or you could meet them in court maybe you work in a, a courthouse or a city hall or or some of you are this person might be a security officer or they um, transport people to correctional facilities. I just so bizarre. Okay, but whatever, you know, the overall message here that I'm getting is when you when you meet this person, they're very fair. So when you meet this person, for some it could be a Libra. And when you meet them, there's an energy here, uh, also Gemini. Um, Of like it just feels like like it's just like it's right like it's meant to be okay so you'll so the five of cups is here this initially came out reverse but i feel like this person had a lot of grief but they're coming out of this now they're healing from some type of a grief situation could have something to do with children or something to do with um a relationship where the person they were with just abandoned them or left them or just left them out in the cold let's take a look at the seven of cups here oh look the emperor's back okay they could also be grieving the loss of their non-committal life where they spent a lot of time i, I just saw this the scene from jerry Maguire. just so you know my most favorite movie ever there's a scene where Jerry Maguire, they hold a bachelor party because, or, um, yeah, yeah, they hold a bachelor party for him because he was going to get married. And they made a movie about his life, and like all the women were, and this could, you know, it could reverse the roles if you want, but all the women were leaving, um, like interviews, uh, Jerry in his little black book. He could never commit. He has commitment issues. He has problems. And, and he just was the first time he was ever taking a look at himself because all these women were in the video and they were all saying the same thing about him. Jerry, the forever child, gotcha. You know, that kind of thing. And I feel like this person has led a life of inconsistency and never committing or never being in a relationship. And just, you know, for whatever reason a lot of grief in their heart they may not have thought they were worthy of being in or anyone loving them so they just kind of like kept things surface and ran around issues with their father the father might have been like that as well or the father was cheating and you know monkey see monkey do so it feels like um, this person is really taking a look and grieving the loss because of the past the, how much time they've wasted and look at this the six of swords making plans to overcome these fear not making plans actually doing it mental um overcoming these fears coming into harmony getting into a peaceful place here uh forgiving the past i feel and for some of you like i said you could meet this person while you're like being on a trip or while you're traveling across water somebody um low-lying mountainous area i'm hearing a low-lying mountainous area whatever that means 
Yep, travel, travel, travel. Okay. Flying through the air and then traveling by boat. Wow, that's crazy. Maybe they're coming to you or could be in your area, coming back to your hometown. Maybe some of you might have known this person when you were young, when you were childhood friends. You guys got away from each other and this person making this return again. Okay. Four of Swords coming back into a place of peace, regeneration, coming home to rest. Okay, I don't know what that means. Maybe to your home. Um, <laughs> let's see. Oh, somebody, you guys, this might be your massage therapist, or you meet this person while you're going in for a massage. Okay, look. Wow, tower in reverse. All right, so they just said, you meet this person and it won't be climatic, climactic at first, which is fine. That's probably good because if it were climactic at first, then <laughs> you got nothing to build up to. <laughs> so it, it's going to be kind of like a very slow build with this person when you meet them. But I do feel like October time, uh, between October and November, you're going to come across this person. Um, the interesting thing, though, is that the Eight of Wands is not necessarily a card of communication, but it is a card of receiving some news. So somehow you're going to hear about this person before you meet them. Okay, maybe you'll read about them in the paper or something will show up. You're going to hear and know about this person before you meet them. Okay, that's how this is going to happen. You're going to know and then somehow you're going to see them or meet them in some way. And that's when this ball uh, gets starts rolling. Okay, when things begin to turn in your favor as far as singles go and love and having new love but it's not going to be like you see each other you lock eyes and then bam it's like you can't stop thinking about them it's not going to be that okay there is an energy of romanticism here but um the one thing i can tell you it's going to be like your this is like the golden ticket in charlie's chocolate bar this is one of this is like a once in a lifetime opportunity here with this person. It's not going to be anything that you're used to, though. It's it's not going to be a very, you know, sh um, practical kind of thing where you guys meet. It's more kismet. And it's unexpected. It's not going to be something where you meet this person and then all of a sudden your juices are flowing and it doesn't have that physical th dopamine hit. This is something completely different. It's outer worldly, otherworldly something you're really not going to be used to or know what to do with, but but it's meant to be. And it, if anything, it's meant to bring healing and uh, like a like a refresh. I hear refreshments. Refreshments, the bartender thing. <laughs> refreshments. It's going to be very refreshing for you. Is it going to last forever? I don't know, but I do feel like there's going to be a lot of good forward movement with this person and a lot of change is going to occur in your life and it may just be exactly what you need, Virgo. Okay, Ten of Cups energy. Joyous, this might be the end of the gold, the golden, the gold at the end of the rainbow here that you were looking for, that you've been waiting for. You're very lucky. I'm, I'm seeing a, a very lucky energy here with the Wheel of Fortune. All right, Virgo, I'm going to leave your reading there. I hope you enjoyed that. I am back to my usual ways here. <laughs> so again, if you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. I'll be reaching out to everyone over the weekend in regards to the moderator thing. Um, but yeah, um, so I will see you guys tomorrow. God willing. And I hope you have a wonderful evening. Please do hit like, share, and subscribe. And I keep saying it. And I will see you guys very soon. All right. Take care. Bye.